Um, <laughs> there should be a debate, but can we just get to the number? A lot of people are saying, why were so many successfully prosecuted when there was such a glut suddenly, 700-odd, mm. all doing the same offence, uh, taking money, uh, the figures not adding up, they all have the same defence, it's, it's the system, not us. They were being prosecuted on the basis of a simple lie, which was that they were the only ones who could access the Horizon IT system, and that wasn't true. That's correct. Uh, and, and, in fact, it may, it may be the key to the solution as well, because if that, if that statement is not true, and we now know it wasn't true, then you can't reasonably or safely prosecute anybody. If you and I share a computer, you know, uh, mm. you can't say one of us is responsible for, for, for fixing the numbers yeah. or, or stealing. So just to be close to people who understand, they haven't seen the documentary. So this is the fact that Fujitsu allowed the, those mm. who are managing this Horizon system, one of those complicated tech systems that are in offices, mm. The postmasters thought they were the only ones that could put the figures in, but it could be remotely accessed. Mm. Unbeknownst to them, some guy in the office, in the UK, not in Japan, oh, yeah. in the UK, could also log in without them knowing. It's like someone being able to go into your what, emails or your Facebook page and change things without you What the program, what happened. the docudrama showed, which I didn't know, and I've been involved with this for years, yeah. uh, was this sort of little sort of Fort Knox, yeah. uh, you know, sort of all high security it, section with, with a number of programmers doing nothing but accessing yeah. these computers in order to be fair to them to try to make sure they work properly because of course like all all software systems and particularly government ones it would appear mm. you know there are lots of glitches lots of bugs and of so they had to fix all the bugs and so they were acting you know we, we talk about seven or nine hundred depending on how you define it uh, who have, who have been convicted but there are thousands more as yes. well who I think paid money now. back that they didn't they shouldn't really have owed yeah so so all of that that the, the point being however you know because they're doing that you can't reasonably bring a bring a prosecution against somebody when they don't control their own computer. Yeah. And so on to the flip side of that is if we... Let's imagine now we want to, we want to exonerate yeah. 700 or yeah, 800... Yeah. Which we do. Which we do, and we want to do it fast, then why on earth can't we just turn around and say, look, let's just check every single one of those and see whether their computer was accessed? There must be records of this. And who would have accessed it, David? That's what I... It would have been Fujitsu. Out. It would have been Fujitsu. Who apologised, and mm. they are say they're cooperating with this inquiry, which, like all inquiries in Britain, is going on forever, starting 2021, no sign when it's going to end. Yeah. Um, they haven't paid a penny yet in compensation. No, they haven't. And, and yet the and, taxpayers paid 140 million. And, and, and you know, what we don't know at the moment, I mean, what we do know, or at least what the docudrama tells us, is that it's it weren't exactly straightforward no. mm. in dealing in with, with the courts, right? Uh, and, and the key to one element I care about, which is prosecuting the people, right. criminally prosecuting yeah. the people who, who, who actually decided to tell the lie. That's the key point. Yeah. Who yeah. decided to tell this lie? Because that person is guilty of perverting the course of justice. Yeah. Yeah. Absolutely. Very serious charge. And, and they, that could be in the post office or Fujitsu. It could be in both. either or both. Uh, it's likely to be quite a lot of people. Mm. I mean, this is... I mean, I, I, I as you know, uh, I, I do quite a lot of miscarriage of justice mm. things. And we, we've got the Chinook thing coming up later this end. Another month. TV programme yeah. coming up in a month's time. And uh, it, it, what you invariably find is... In inside these big organisations for different reasons. People either initiate bad actions or they go along with it, mm -hmm. you know, and sometimes it's to protect the reputation of the organisation, sometimes it's to protect their bonuses, sometimes it's just because the guy before did it and they, they haven't got the, mm -hmm. the guts to, to, to put it right mm -hmm. and so on. But I'm afraid they're all guilty if they, if they go along yeah. with somebody being put in and, prison. And yeah. didn't Nigel Farage have a good point when he made the point, um, he, he was challenged with this, that... The Director of Public Prosecution at the time, we're not trying to be party pre here, but mm. the whole DPP, a huge department paid for by the taxpayer, turned a blind eye with these prosecutions going on, and they could have intervened under... There's a clause in the whatever Act of Parliament it is. Mm. Farage has checked that out. He made that point last mm. night. He has a point, doesn't he? he Why weren't point. the public prosecutors thinking, how are so many of these postmasters being prosecuted? He has a point. Extraordinary. And, and uh, I... But for, forgive me, I, I'm being very careful in trying not to politicise this. Sure. Because what I want is an answer. Yeah. I want resolution, right? Yeah. And at the moment, we've got everybody in the Commons on our side, which, whichever party they're in. Now, there's no doubt in my mind some people made some pretty big mistakes. I mean, mm. we've had Ed 
a Davies so, yeah. episode and plainly he didn't do his job. He didn't challenge the, no, the, the post office what, or his civil service. What a minister is for. A minister is there to challenge... And to... he says, people, everybody lied to me. Well, well your judgment should be better. It should. You should be able to smell mm. that amount of and there are ways untruth. Of, and there are ways of testing things, you know. Uh, you know and, uh, when I've been a minister, I've, you know, I've always told my people, you know, I'm going to disagree with you and you're going to need to prove things. Oh, yeah. that's been yeah. my standard opening yeah, line yeah. when I go into a yeah. department. Um, so lots of people have made mistakes, frankly. And, this, and, and we'll come back to this, I think. Yeah. But my first issue at the moment... Is to get the... Is get them exonerated. Yeah. Get the money to them. This is, again, you see, the post office here, this is an important yeah. point. The post office, talk about solving this, and then they employ incredibly expensive lawyers. Yeah. Who pays for that? The taxpayer, David, the, the, because it's a it's taxpayer-funded organisation. It's our money. It's our money. So, you know, I want that stopped. Mm. You know, I want what, about the, what about the post workers who've had compensation, David, but lost most of it because they had to employ expensive lawyers to take on the oh, fat cat lawyers the, hired by they the post have, office? Uh, I mean, the, the, got to get it the, back. The state, well, the post office has to pay for all, uh, or Fujitsu has to pay for all of that, you know. I think, you see, let me, let me just tell you a, a tiny example. What, what, with the case that I first looked at on this, she was in prison. She had to pay back the uh, money she, they asserted she owned. She sold her house. She had to sell her house Terrible. in order to do that, right? But because she sold her house before the mortgage had... Uh, uh, she had to pay a huge penalty on the mortgage. Oh, no. So she ended up with no money... To pay if there's a okay. massive those there should... sorts of things blow, you know, build up. So it's why it's why you know the minimum you get back yes. just as a down payment is what you gave to the post office, and then on top of that, there's a huge set of other numbers, and including the, as you say, the lawyers as well. Yeah. Oh, the loss of earnings, the, the damage that's been caused to these people's reputations. Do you know what keeps me awake at night, David? Is the idea that this if this docudrama hadn't been made. What would have happened? It would have taken us more years. Yeah, but, the but would there have been enough... Well, yes, me, but me, would, me, would me, there me. have been enough people with enough fire in their bellies to, to help these people? Well, it was a very interesting piece. I assume, what, you wouldn't normally hear me say this, but there was an interesting piece in The Guardian. No, uh, I <laughs> not, say not that. my normal line. <laughs> um, uh, before Christmas, uh, Martin Kettley was, mm. and he was criticising MPs for not doing their job mm. and uh, uh, not being there. Yeah. And it was interesting because the, the, the issue he was pointing at, the very last day of term, there's a bill going through the House. It's a small technical bill. But Kevin Jones, my sort of uh, my my Labour mother, brilliant on this who has been the leader on it. He was, I mean, I'm, he was I'm, here yesterday. I'm, I'm number two, not number one in this exercise uh, in, in the House. Um, uh, Kevin had put in an amendment. I'd signed the amendments uh, and and uh, to to basically give a bit more leverage to mm. Kevin Hollenrake, the minister, who's also been good, yeah. uh, to give him some power with his own department, to push his department to do what he wanted. Well, Kevin was there. I was in and out doing other things, but I was there, and I think there were about five or six other people, and that was it. Now, that was the level of interest uh, just before Christmas. Last night, we had to drop the, uh, the business going through that. the house because there were so many people wanting and, to ask questions. And that was it. the big bill about drilling in the North Sea. All again. about the North Sea. That went out the window because the house was so seized on. of this. Yeah. And the issue here is imagination. You see, yes. what the docudrama did was showed you the, the depth of the misery that's mm. visited on people by this injustice. Money, house, reputation, right, job, mm. everything. And that's what it did. And it's very difficult. Miscarriages of justice, you're the guy you're representing, or people, or many people, are always unpopular at the beginning because people think they're guilty. Yeah. And it takes that transition. We have to leave it then. A lack of imagination Keep is the at the root of so many...